You ask, where is the best place to install a solar inverter? Before we answer this question, we must explain that there are actually three types of inverter solutions. There are string inverters, inverters with optimizers, and micro-inverters. We are going to explain the best installation spots for all three, so if you are looking for a specific installation location of a certain inverter type, our video description has the timestamps you are looking for. Micro-inverters have a limited choice of locations where they can be installed, since they are usually required on the back of solar panels on the roof itself. Micro-inverters such as Enphase work by typically operating on one to two panels at a time, thus needing to be located very close to the panels. One tip is to make sure that you choose a position on the back of the panel that decreases the chance for moisture to affect the inverter. While they are waterproof, we wouldn't recommend placing it close to a roof gully, where water will flow down and permanently place into the micro-inverter. Inverters with optimizers are another common inverter type. Solar Edge are one of the main companies that offer these. The optimizers are installed behind the panel, similar to micro inverters. Therefore, the installation location options are limited as well. The Solar Edge inverters location information is similar to the string inverter information that I will talk about next. String inverters are the most common inverter type. The solar string inverter is a vital component of your solar system, which converts the DC energy generated into AC energy that can be used by your home appliances. This then raises the question of where is the best place to mount or install your inverter. What many homeowners don't understand is that the location of their inverter is actually very important as it determines the amount of power that can be generated as well as it closely relates to user safety and the overall lifespan of the inverter. Modern solar string inverters are usually at an IP65 waterproof rating, which means that they can be installed anywhere outside. Nevertheless, most solar inverter manufacturers recommend that you keep your solar inverter away from direct sunlight. The reason is, is that solar inverters already generate heat in its conversion of DC power to AC power. Naturally, on a hot day, more electricity will be generated, so inverters are going to work harder and obviously generate more heat. If the inverter is additionally fully exposed to direct hot sunlight, the unit can become very hot and the lifespan of the inverter can be shorted by a number of years. In some inverter models, the wrong installation position could generate issues when claiming the warranty as well. A hot inverter can also see its efficiency drop, meaning you lose valuable electricity generation due to choosing the wrong installation position. From a cabling point of view, the inverter should be close to the meter board, but sometimes such a spot is right in the sun. Placing a little solar shade cover on top of your inverter may be an appropriate solution to avoid the inverter overheating. Installing the inverter inside, like on a garage wall let's say, opposite the meter box is ideal. Not only is the inverter protected from the elements, but it also only requires a short cable run, which actually makes the installation more efficient. Long cable runs will result in higher resistance to the electron flow and will therefore see a loss of generated and harvested power. Another good option is to place it in the garage near a subboard that contains circuit breakers connected to the circuits in your home. The subboard can be connected to the solar inverter as it is connected to the main switchboard, which is typically where the meters are read. If there is no garage or no suitable spot, we suggest an installation on a southerly wall as the first option. This is only if you are in Australia and New Zealand and not in Europe and an easterly wall as an alternative to the southerly wall. We suggest to avoid northerly or westerly walls as the afternoon sun will just bake your solar inverter. We really never recommend the inverter being installed inside the home. This is because it can sometimes give off humming noises and could cause electromagnetic waves or fan noises, which could only be disturbing in a home environment. In summary, choose a shaded spot or cool spot as the preferred string inverter installation spot. For example, placing the inverter under an awning or overhanging roof will allow more protection from direct sunlight and rain. Keeping your inverter from being exposed to natural and direct weather ensures the longevity of your system. Make sure that it's in an accessible location. There should be no sources of moisture nearby. Make sure that it is avoiding sunlight as much as possible. Try to mount it in an area that avoids all adverse weather conditions. There should also be ventilation space of at least 150 millimeters beside, above and below the inverter unit. Stay away from windows of bedrooms as some inverter models can emit some fan or relay noise during the day. There are also rules as to the minimum and maximum height for example, it must be a minimum of 90 centimetres above the ground to reduce the risk of flood damage. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products, tools and calculators, and find your quality local installers. Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell, and check out all our other videos. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.